Hey everyone, I'm Uzair. I'm a digital strategist and a content creator. And in this video, I'll share with you the five stages or seasons that everyone goes through when they start working on their goals. So if you have dream or big goals in life, make sure you watch the complete video so that you get an overall idea and prepare yourself for your journey in advance. So you must have a dream to do something great in your life. Maybe you want to have a successful business or maybe you want to become a successful writer or a successful blogger or maybe you just want to get in a good shape. But whatever goal you have, you have to start. Just think about the goal that you have been wanting to work on for so long but you cannot find time to. The important question that you should ask yourself is, are you really busy or you are just procrastinating? Because the fact is that someday never comes and the best time to start working on your goals is right now. And that's the reason that most of the people in this world do not get a chance to work on their goals. I see a lot of people in 9 to 5 job complaining about their jobs, the work environment, the bosses. And they say they want to start something of their own and they keep saying it for years and they never do it. The reason that you never start is that you have a fear that you will fail and what other people think etc. But the fact is that you can't decide or predict the outcome before you start. That's how it's done. You have to take the risk and you have to begin. So leave your fear behind and take action today. Maybe just start working daily for 15 minutes and then gradually increase as you get more passionate and determined with time. The second stage is stuck. This is the second and most crucial phases of all the phases that you encounter when you start working on your goals. And if you have already started working, then you can relate to this. So what happens when you start working on your goals? There comes a time when you realize that you are not getting the results that you expected. And no matter how hard you try, you don't see anything happening in your favor. Every single person goes through it. And this is the phase where most of the people quit. For example, suppose you started an online business. So you did the research on target market finalize the product, develop e-commerce website, created social media accounts, and you started promoting your products. But when you see that even a hard work of four to five months, you are hardly getting any sales. This is really demotivating. And this is the point where you will want to quit. The key here is never stop trying. Maybe it's just the skill gap that you have. And by constantly working and pushing yourself, you will get success. Even I have personally experienced it many times. I was working with a startup and for the first six months, we hardly generated any sales. But we kept pushing and strategizing and working hard. And the third year, we generated more than half a million dollars. So always remember, whenever you see yourself stuck and don't see any results, no matter how many difficulties you face or how badly you want to quit, just keep working. And if you do, you will enter the third phase that is sacrifice. This is also one of the hardest phases of your success journey. You will have to sacrifice a lot of things like partying, resting on weekends, comfort, watching Netflix daily and excessive use of social media, etc, etc. You will have to give up the things that give you short term pleasure and focus on long term success. If you really want to accomplish your dream, you will have to work on it for hours and hours for years without getting distracted. Only then you will get it because great things take time. It's not like you want to have a business and within a month or two, you will have a successful business and making a lot of money. Likewise, you do not get a good physique by just going to the gym for a few days and doing some exercise, right? For that, you will have to go to the gym consistently even if you don't see the results initially. You will have to sacrifice a lot of junk food and you will have to eat healthy and nutritional diet even if you don't want to eat it. And one day, you will start noticing changes in your body and you will realize that you are getting closer to a dream of having a physique that you always dreamt of. One of the things that you need to remember that impatience is your enemy. It makes you weak. So instead of chasing the rewards, immerse yourself in learning new things and developing the skills that are required to get you closer to your dream. And always remember, great things are never accomplished without sacrifice. There is nothing like overnight success. It takes years of sacrifice to achieve your goals. When you surpass the sacrifice, the next phase that you go through is the survival phase. This is the phase where you have already made a lot of progress and you are quite close to achieve your dreams. For example, if your dream was to have your own business and be your own boss, then this is the phase where you move from doing it part time to pursuing it full time. 
because you start making enough money and now you are ready to quit your 9 to 5 job. But all the progress that you have made so far can be a nightmare if you do not safeguard yourself in the survival phase. Make sure that you get enough sleep, do regular workout, do meditation and eat healthy. In this phase, you gotta take care of your mental health and physical health and it will really help you in going out smoothly on your success journey. A lot of people make it till here but they ultimately fail because they are not able to fill the skill gap required to go further. One more thing. In this phase, a lot of people tend to get into comfort zone when they see success. This is something that you should never do. Instead, keep pushing more and keep learning new skills. And do not ever think that you don't need to learn new skills. Always keep exploring and keep filling the knowledge gap. And the next phase is scaling. I'm saying this because when you reach at the place where you always wanted to be, you realize there's a long way to go. It's just like the top of the mountain that you are chasing for is actually the foot of the next bigger mountain. So in this phase, your overall goal is to become more sustainable and creative and to serve more people in your community and add value to this world. You must be wondering where is the success in all the phases? Well, success is different for different people and I personally believe that success is not a destination, it's a journey. The day you decide to start working on your goals and start taking action, it puts you on a roller coaster where you will experience happiness and fulfillment. Yes, there will be tough times and you will experience failures. You will experience the lowest moments of your life, but ultimately it will give you happiness because you are working on your dreams and a very few people in this world get a chance to do that. Having said that, if you are an entrepreneur, I will suggest you to scale carefully because scaling your business can make or break it. It requires a lot of mastery, skills and a little luck. I have seen a lot of startups and small businesses feeling badly when trying to scale up. So learn from the people who have already done it and do not scale too fast or too slow. Learn about it as much as you can. Alright guys, that's it for now. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing it and let me know in the comments what are your goals and dreams and if you have already started working on your dreams share your experience in the comment section and help others learn see you in the next video till then 